Hi, my name is Braylon Hollywell, and this is my final project video for my Motivating and Coaching Essence event. As an introduction to this project, over the course of seven weeks, we were paired up with a classmate, and we were to pick a theory that we learned in this class and implement and apply it to motivating our partner towards a chosen goal that they had. Um, the chosen theory that I pick to use was Thorndike's Connectionism Theory. And the whole basis of this theory is that when there's a reoccurring stimulus, there is a learned response. Um, so when implementing this, I wanted my, my partner to at least hold or look at her journal um, once a day. I was hoping that the stimulus of holding and looking at her journal would create a response of her writing in it daily. Um, that was her goal. Her goal was to practice um, daily writing in her journal. When we had talked, she said that she usually did it two to three times a week, but she wanted it to become a more daily habit. Um, my initial expectations for this project was, I thought it was gonna be a lot easier than I thought it was. Um, I, I didn't realize how difficult it, it is to motivate somebody especially somebody that you're not like close to. I mean, we're classmates, but this is an online class. So it was, it was definitely interesting and I didn't anticipate it to be um, that difficult, but in actuality, it, it really, it helped me stay in line with my goals by motivating her. And um, there was definitely ups and downs as well. Initially, I thought that there it was going to be a linear process that we would make consistent progress each week um, with our goals towards our goal, and it was not like that. There was definitely a variety of ups and downs throughout the seven week process, and I feel like that's more realistic in a lot of uh, goals. I feel like that's a more realistic process towards goals. My strengths as a motivator, um, this did kind of really open my eyes to my strengths and where I can improve as well, and I'm sure my partner has um, some has some feedback too, but I feel like one of my biggest strengths was being relatable and compassionate. I, I pride myself on being real, and I, I feel like people are comfortable enough with me to have real conversations about how they're feeling, how they're doing, and their their goals, especially in this setting. Um, and communication. I am really good at communicating when I remember to. <laughs> um, and that fall, this kind of falls into the areas that I need to improve on as a motivator. Um, some things that I struggled with was just being not as attentive as I could have been. And... Um, there's a lot of factors that play into that. I mean, my, I, I'm a student, I have a lot of things going on, I work, I have family, you know, so uh, there's a, there's tons of factors to why I wasn't as attentive to my partner as I could have been, but that is something that I can keep in mind for um, my future career. Also, another motivating factor for me to help me be a better motivator, um, especially as a career path, would be money. I mean, for a motivating factor for me is a grade right now, so I guess that goes hand in hand. Um, to self-reflect, to self-reflect, I feel like this project was definitely a lot more, a lot more difficult than I thought it was going to be, especially because the communication technology was a godsend. Um, because if we weren't able to text or FaceTime, that would make things a lot more difficult because we are so busy and we have different lives. Um, but the overall feeling that I have from this project is it was definitely a needed experience. I feel like I'm walking away with this, walking away from this with a new, with a bit, with a bigger sense of who I am as a motivator and who I am, especially when I'm like going on process with my goals. Um, so it's definitely definitely helpful 
and a lot longer than I thought it was going to be, but it, it helped me in the long run. Um, to conclude, I think this helps me a lot with future goals because I think I'm not 100% sure what I want to do yet, but helping people is a huge part of like who I am and even helping them towards specific goals that they have, either fitness related or not. I think that the things that I learned from this project will help me at that time when I'm when I'm ready for that. Even now when I'm on project with my goals, um, it's something to be to be mindful of. And even just doing this with somebody else that like that helps a ton. Um, so yes, thank you.